Okay, our last here at Foss Lass is a, a Rising Sun Farms Maiden, two mile four furlongs. So number one is Fantastic for Joshua Sutherland. Two is St. David's Day for Graham Clutterbuck, the favourite. Three is Torfian Street for David Thompson. Four is Armed Warrior, Leon Van Rensburg. Five, Gemini Sweet, Martin Needham. Six, Hollywood Broke the Gate for D Hinton. Seven, Insomnia Moilet Surfer. Eight, Winterport Jim Murray. And nine, I think, was Una for David Robertson. Already away here. Uh, there's two and a half miles, quite a small field, only nine of them. So let's see how they go and wait to settle down. I'm jostling for a little bit of position. Quite a slow old pace, nobody really wants to take it on. St. David's Day is just oh, a little glitch there at St. David's Day and everybody takes the first. And really I think the jump decided who was going to lead there and Gemini Sweet jumped slightly better than the rest. But it's St. David's Day that's uh, led them into this. Oh, we've lost one there, Yuna's gone. Bad luck. Well, the second, the grey. So uh, bad luck to David Robertson there. But it's St. David's Day that leads them over that ditch, the third. And he's got a four length advantage over the chasing Fantastique against the fence. The outside of that is Torfian Street. We take the fourth. These fences come in thick and fast here. Still got a couple of miles to run though. And it's still St. David's Day that leads by four to five to Insomnia. Probably the greatest faithless track of all time. Well named Moilets. If that's the reason or the fact that you don't sleep, hence your horses are so good because you have insomnia. So it's David's Day that leads us by three to four legs to insomnia. And then uh, Armed Warrior, Hollywood broke the gate. Fantastic against the fence. Winterport, the dark black horse on the outside, followed through by Torrefan Street. And Gemini Street has got himself a little bit detached here and actually being taken over by the riderless horse you. So it's St. David's Day that still leads us. And he's a good couple of lengths ahead into the six. Bit of a slow jump there and a very fast jump. Now Insomnia has managed to bring him alongside now. And these two are going to be neck and neck. Going into the seventh. They'll jump it well. A very poor jump. And actually at that one was Hollywood broke the gate and has demoted himself back down towards the pack. But up front is St. David's Day and Insomnia. They're two lengths ahead of Armed Warrior and Torfian Street. They're followed through by Hollywood broke the gate. Better jump by him there. Or her, should we say. And then a couple of lengths back to Torfian Street, Winterport, Fantastic, and Gemini Suite. So we've only lost the one out of the nine. They're going to go past the finishing post for the last time. One more circuit, a mile and a quarter, and half the fence is through. But it's Insomnia and St. David's Day that leads us. Graham Clutterbuck and Moilet Surfer. And they're followed through by Armed Warrior of Leon Van Rensburg, then Torfian Street for David Thompson. Then up against the fences, Hollywood broke the gate for Dale Hinton. Then Winterport for Jim Murray. Gemini Sweet then followed through for Martin Leadham. And just at the back is Fantastic for Joshua Sutherland. So nine trainers here. Only eight of them left. <laughs> and it's St. David's Day. It's going to lead them into the next St. David's Day from Insomnia. And then Torfian Street. So we're doing a very slow jump over that. The riders are still going, the grey Una, but it's still St. David's Day and Insomnia by a couple of lengths to Torfian Street, Armed Warrior and Winterport together. Better jump there by Torfian Street. Still Armed Warrior, Hollywood broke the gate and, Gemin and Gemini Sweeter together and then Fantastic who jumped that really fast and well. Going back into the pack, there's nothing in between amongst these now. You can throw a handkerchief over the lot. We've got six furlongs to go. They're going to the 13th, not unlucky for anyone because they're all over it. So up front is Insomnia from St. David's it's down the outside of that is Winter Port, a length back to Torfian Street. Then we've got Gemini Sweet, Armed Warrior. They're all doing well. Poor jump there by Torfian Street has demoted it back. The one that's taken it up to the front now is St. David's Day. Leads by a couple of lengths to Winter Port. The outside of that is Gemini Sweet. There's just over four and a half furlongs, under four and a half furlongs left to run. And it's St. David's Day that leads us by a couple of lengths to Winter Port. Gemini Sweet, all under pressure now. Armed Warrior, Hollywood broke the gate. Torfian Street, Insomnia and Fantastic still at the rear. But it's St. David's Day that's pulling away here. It's got about a four length advantage, three furlongs left to go, three to jump. So it's St. David's Day, leading from Winterport and Gemini Suite, all plugging on. Got over that one well, a couple of slow jump at the back there by Insomnia, who's now starting to fall asleep. It's St. David's Day that leads us by a couple of lengths to Hollywood Broke the Gate. Over the 16th, there's two left to run. The one that jumped that well was Torfian Street and tries to close the gap on St. David's Day, but St. David's Day for Graham Clutterbuck seems to be cruising here. Gets over the 17th. Hollywood Broke the Gate tries to cut the the distance down but I don't think he's going to get there we're inside half a furlong now, one to jump get over it, St David's Day, he does skips over it, jockey looking around all the time got it in his pocket, going to win this by probably four lengths from St 
Holly was broke the gate in second. I think Gemini Sweet hung on for third. Well, wait for the, the thing. I was so busy looking at the front, and there goes Una. So it's a David's Day for Graham Clash. About good win there. So good horse. Second was Hollywood broke the gate for Derek Hinton. Third was Fantastic for Joshua Sutherland. Fourth was Gemini Sweet for Martin Liedemann. Fifth was Torfian Street for D. Thompson. And I'll.